This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, Eminem sat down with LL Cool J on LL's Rock the Bells radio show. And they talked about a lot of different things. Eminem talked about meeting Dr. Dre for the first time. He talked about um, some of his major influences like LL Cool J himself, Run DMC, Beastie Boys, Ice-T, and the Fat Boys, people that influenced him as he was coming into this hip-hop game. In addition to that, he talks about why he decided to become a rapper. It's just something about the music spoke to me. You also didn't really have to be able to sing. It, it just felt empowering, and it just felt like, I don't know, it just spoke to me as a kid. Like, I, I wanted to be like you. It was something about the, it was the energy, and the, you could just say what you want to say, and you could talk about your life, and you could talk about the bothers you and all that you know i just i don't know something i just gravitated towards it and i never strayed from the first day i heard a rap song eminem is definitely a gifted rapper though you have to give him that like you know a lot of rappers aren't Absolutely. gifted nowadays they just can rap and you know do some melodies over a beat but eminem's actually gifted he's skilled now he's so skilled that this song stan actually now the word stan is in the dictionary with the definition of what a stand is because of Eminem. And he talked about coming up with the concept of that song, because even though he was fans of a lot of other artists, he couldn't understand being a Stan. If you were walking outside the venue after a show, mm -hmm. and then you saw some fans, you took some pictures and shit, there's always going to be somebody that you don't have a chance to get to. That was one of the things that I started seeing. It was my first experience, really, with it. It was mm -hmm. like, what the f is this? Like, mm -hmm. And people wanting me to sign I don't get it. Like. It's a signature, like, you know, I, I didn't understand it, and, and I think it was a combination of what I was going through at that time mm -hmm. and experiencing fame for the first time and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, stands have always existed, though, right? Well, he just gave it right. the name. I guess for him, you know, when he was young, he didn't understand, like, you know, and he became famous himself. He just didn't get it. I'm sure it's a crazy adjustment from where he came from and to how quickly he escalated. Here's what else he had to say about stands. When I got that beat from Mark 45 King with the Dido hook on it, I was mm -hmm. just like, put your picture on my wall. Like, that's what that's what I did as a kid. Mm -hmm. Like, how I felt when you first came out, Run DMC first came out, like, just my, my entire room, walls were covered up to the ceiling with pictures. And I put myself in the shoes of, like, worshiping you and worshiping Run DMC and like like thought like how can somebody worship me? Well you know what you know what I think it is? You know yourself. Like Eminem knows himself. So he probably never feels worthy of that standum. Like you know how your fart smell, you know how you blow up the bathroom. Like you know all the little intimate details about yourself. So you're like, why would you love me so much? Did you know what I just did? In the bathroom? Uh yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. all right, for all the Lawrence Hive people out there, and I'm talking about the show Insecure because Lawrence is no longer on the show, a.k.a. Jay Ellis in real life. Well, now it's been revealed that he has a new gig that he's doing. He's going to be starring opposite Tom Cruise in the new Top Gun Maverick movie, and that's going to be in theaters next year, July 12th. So congratulations to him. See, he's busy. He's booked and busy. So. Drop on the clues bombs for uh, Jay Ellis. We're doing that movie yes. with that 97-year-old white man who still looks like he's 36. And another congratulations to JoJo Simmons. He got engaged to his girlfriend who also nice. is. Yes, his baby mom. So congratulations mm -hmm. to them on that engagement. Now, recently, JoJo Simmons was just on The Breakfast Club along with Angela Simmons and Vanessa Simmons, his sisters, talking about growing up hip hop. And we asked him about getting engaged. Here's what he said. Are you planning to get married? Of course. I mean, there's nothing really else for me to do. I know that's who I want to be with. I know that's the mother of my child, and, and I love the healthy home, and, and, and it's great for me. Don't rush it. Oh, definitely not rushing it. Took me 16 years. You know what's so crazy? Oh, they trying God. to rush me. The whole family trying, trying to rush me. I'm not trying to rush you, but she's amazing. If you want... Drop All one right. of clues bombs with JoJo Simmons. Uh, sounds like he's moving into this nice, safe, gated community called the Faithful Male uh Faithful black male community. You know, it's a mm -hmm. gated community. All we ask is trust. You know, keep your grass cut. You know, it's very safe in here. Very safe. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report.